The book has been with us for centuries, ever since men realized they could distribute information more efficiently by binding sheets of paper that came off those early printing presses. There have been many changes in the book over the years, among them the paperback. It offers the same information as the hardbound copy at a significantly lower price. But just as the technology of the printing press gave us a new way to distribute information, electronics is offering the most efficient way yet to communicate the written word and graphic images. This is the book of the future, the electronic book, developed by Reedtronics of San Jose in California's Silicon Valley. As you'll see, this book is about to become the most economical way yet to deliver information, literature, graphics, or even music. What makes the electronic book such a cost-effective way to communicate is its technology, a hybrid system using the best of both analog and digital signal capabilities. I'll describe that technology in a few moments, but first, let's get a feel for the book, see how it works, and what it can do for you in business, educational, or personal applications. The production version of the electronic book will be about 7 inches wide by 10 inches high and less than an inch and a half thick. It will weigh less than 2 pounds. On a basic level, the electronic book can be described as a system built from three components you might already be familiar with. There's a Walkman-type tape player, a new high-resolution display screen, and a module of electronics. The electronics module contains proprietary yet low-cost computer chips, which control the book's many functions. Those chips are like the ones you'd find in a home video cassette machine. What you'll see later is how those chips work with the tape machine to create a staggeringly powerful yet inexpensive means of storing and retrieving information. Well, let's say I want to read something using the prototype electronic book. I need to take this pre-recorded audio cassette, the kind of cassette you can pick up as a blank at a convenience store for less than a dollar, and pop it into the tape drive. By pushing the play button and following instructions prompted by the electronic book on these menus, I can bring up the text I want. Now let's say I want to change the size of the text. Well, that's easily accomplished by pushing one of these, up or down buttons. Once I've made my choice, the electronic book reorganizes the part of the text it has in memory and accordingly renumbers the pages. A series of unfolding menus allows me to choose among the books for the one that I want. Those menus, in turn, offer the desired book's table of contents and sub-listings. From here, I can read the text without touching anything but these same controls to flip the pages. The tape drive stays ahead of me as I read, unloading more text into the book. You might be familiar with older tape storage technology used in some personal computers. Well, those drives only loaded information at a density of about 800 bits per inch. Readtronic's new technology provides loading at a density of 10 to 20,000 bits per inch per tape track. As you can see, the time needed to load the same amount of information doesn't begin to compare between the old and new technologies. Since the tape used for loading the book is a standard audio cassette, multiple tracks can be loaded into the book at the same time. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then what is the value of those two together? Readtronics realizes the power of matching graphics with text. Images like these can be accessed and displayed on the 600 by 900 pixel display screen in two seconds apiece. That high resolution is important for all sorts of graphics, from blueprints to schematics to maps. And a zoom function allows you closer inspection of those graphic illustrations. That's the visual side of the electronic book's basic function. Now, how about sound? Scott Bornstein is a leading authority, lecturer, and author in the field of vocabulary enrichment and memory training. The electronic book has the capability to handle a wide variety of sound. For tutoring in basic pronunciation or in a foreign language, an audio track can be synchronized with the text or with graphics. Those capabilities lift the electronic book above the realm of the passive reading device to that of a multidimensional learning tool. So far, we've discussed the most basic way to load information into the electronic book. At less than a dollar a tape, it's also the cheapest. If you compare the tape's storage density and cost with that of a floppy disk for a computer, you can see the efficiency of tape. You sacrifice some of the floppy disk speed and random access, but at a tremendous gain in storage density and a tremendous savings in cost. Here's a disk drive, a disk controller card, and a floppy disk at a total cost of $160. Here's a Walkman-type tape drive and a cassette tape at a total cost of $11. The Readtronics tape technology has 20 times the information as the disk drive on just one tape track. 
Greentronics has developed this product realizing that information is distributed electronically in many different ways. The electronic book thus has ports for reel-to-reel -reel tape machine, personal computers and laser discs, telephone lines, and radio and cable television sourcing. That ability really opens up the potential for using the electronic book to access information from sources just about anywhere in the world. But Readtronics has gone further to build a full system which can move masses of information in a highly cost-effective manner. It is known as the pipeline. The pipeline is a spin-off from the hybrid analog digital technology that makes the electronic book possible. In very basic terms, here's how it works. The same analog digital signal we earlier showed recorded on the audio cassette can be similarly attached to a common television signal. In fact, the single video channel offers room for 75 such signals. Using the same techniques as cable television operators, 80 channels carrying 75 analog digital signals apiece can be moved along a single video cable. Inside the book is that same computer chip you find in television sets and video recorders. Through the keypad, you can use that chip to pick out the exact channel carrying the information signal you want. A touch of the keypad in the electronic book allows you to instantly select any one of 6,000 sources. Clearly, you can see the electronic book is far more than a novel way to carry around literature. Given all the capabilities I've described so far, Readtronics has explored four major markets for the electronic book. The professional commercial market is characterized by the need to daily communicate a host of timely items of information, files, reports, presentations, schedules, and the like. Doctors, lawyers, and sales representatives can be frequently on the move, in need of a way to send or retrieve information from the office. Service people require manuals or training aids, and those are items which home offices quite often need to update. Electronic mail, now enjoying only limited success due to the relatively slow growth of desktop computers, would certainly be boosted with the efficiency and portability of the electronic book. In publishing, any person or organization with a personal computer can become a publisher through the electronic book. Publishing is a key area for the educational market as well. There has long been a need for cost-effectiveness in school textbooks. With the world changing so rapidly, many traditional textbooks are outdated before they leave the presses. There are, of course, testing and classroom administrative applications. The government is the world's largest publisher with manuals, libraries, maps, electronic mail, and needs to access database after database. The consumer market could cross over some already mentioned applications. The electronic book does have all the components to give any user a programmable calculator, a video arcade, a home education tutor, a cookbook, an electronic map book, and even more devices, all in one package. The electronic book is the book of the future, and it's here now. For further information, talk to the people at Readtronics.